So the move here is him. Control. Now that coming in. Send. Elbow. Force. Control. And then out. Hi everyone, it's Master Wong here. Today is another beautiful day today. We're gonna talk about a little bit into how to fight the bully. As you know, throughout this particular episode, I'm gonna go in and talk to you a lot about, a little bit about my background, a little bit about myself, so you can understand a bit more. So that way it become a lot more easier for us to get on, so you know where you're going with it, and how I can able to help you to learn to overcome bully. Okay, now last couple of weeks we talked about running away, biting, and all this kind of stuff. Okay, so all this whole thing here, it uh, set you up to ha overcome bully or fight them. To learn that, you need to learn a lot about you as a person, okay? If you don't know much about yourself, it's very difficult for you to overcome bully. Because bully is there to attack you when you're weak. When you become strong and have confidence, then bully cannot attack you because you have confidence you feel strong mentally and physically this is what I start learning a lot of this when I start growing up but today we're gonna talk a lot about into fear fear is one of the things that every one of us go through in our life one time or other or even a lot of that because fear is one of them thing is very uh, difficult to grasp hold of when you don't understand what is it. Let me take you back a little bit on my journey so you can understand. When I in to uh, uh, working with Jen, one of my mentors, he sent me into one of the places, storing one, to act, uh, one of the artifacts or uh, some uh, package. I don't know what is it inside. That particular packet I go and store in this particular place, you know, I scare, I worry, my hand is shaking, everything else, I worry. But the problem with this is, more you think about it, the more you will worry, more you scare. So what happened is, my mentor told me, don't think about it, just concentrate on your task. That means you go in there, get the artifacts, and then bring it back. In that time, you will get beat up. Okay, so that means I get beat up in that particular process. Now, that sounds bad because I don't like to get beat up. Why? Because I don't, uh, I don't know how they're going to beat you up. Okay, because I'm not in control of uh, releasing this kind of um, uh, uh, attacking to someone. So you don't know. So the best thing for me to do on that time is just need to cover up, need to minimize the injured, okay, minimize the injured as much as possible. Because if I don't understand how to minimize the injured, I will get hurt badly. You know, broken rib, mess up face, redecorate my face, okay, all sort of thing, broken leg. So I don't know. So the most important thing is to learn is to become strong. When you become strong and a little bit confident, you can take some punishment, okay? So when I start to come back and I go through it and I get beat up very badly and then I come back and I ask my mentor why do I worry and scare when you see things or when you get uh, when you got somebody attacking you or try to hurt you that you can't fight back or you don't know how to fight back he said this is the problem is is the unknown the unknown you don't know what's going on okay this is where you're scared you're frightened okay and 
when I finish that, not long afterward, I going out and I start fighting uh, into the uh, soap like in the marketplace, okay? And that kind of time when I get there, I don't get my hands shaky and scared uh, on that time anymore, you know, because I get into doing so much of that and it's just part of routine, part of your life. So you don't feel that and you don't get that adrenaline anymore. When I first time I get in a fight, my hand is shaking, I worry, my heart is pumping very fast, you know. So I do not really know what's going on, don't know. You don't know what's going on, your hand is shaking, that's a trending thumb, that's what happened. You're trending, you're scared, you don't know what to do, you know a lot of stuff but you cannot hit them because it's every time you hit something, it's literally no power, you know. So this is what happened. So when I come back, I ask uh, my mentor, Jen, um, why is that? And he said, the problem is because when you never play with this sort of thing, not into, in, into the combat kind of perspective, okay? So you're not been in that situation before. You're scared, you're worried because it's the unknown, okay? When you're unknown, you're worried and scared. So then I said, how you can able to learn to understand that? I said, very basic. All you need to do, get into more of that situation, okay? That means get into more fight. That means get in more conversation with the person. So you will get used to it, of that kind of stuff. You will get beat up, you will get to do whatever you need to do, but you get used to it. And when you get used to it, you can control fear a lot more better. And it's go down back to the training that he teach me on the meditation side. Okay, every morning I get up, I have to do some meditation. It's because control the breathing. Because when you're scared, because you're shadow breathing, okay? When you're shadow breathing, your hand is uh, shaking. But you do deep breathing, okay? Deep breathing, and you don't get into worry too much. And then you start to undeny what's going on, you start to calm a bit more. Then you can see things. Because when you start to in the adrenaline dump, your fear, okay? You're gonna, not gonna do the right thing. You're scared, you panic, and all sort of things happen. So that's what happened in my experience. And throughout my experience on this, my master, when I met them, uh, uh, when they came to UK, and I go out and do a lot of work into the gangs and stuff like that, I don't come across with 20 lin thumb anymore. Don't get wooey anymore. Because you've been through this as the journey you, uh, when I do it when I'm young, it's become more conditioned to me, okay? So this is where you have to learn to understand. A lot of things you don't understand what's going on, your worry, your scare, your fear. So how's that helping you? Okay? How that how you gonna learn that, understand that? It's do more of them. To condition yourself because you are conditioned yourself to learn that kind of um, uh, 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 problem when you are right, because you don't know what the problem is. Okay? You and another thing as well, don't think too much. If you start thinking, that's when scare come along, worry, fear, because they're unknown, you see. And then when I learn to understanding all this and uh, uh, able to control the fear, okay, because when I asked my master, I said, why a lot of time when you get involved with these people fighting and do all the stuff, they don't worry anymore because they can control the fear. Fear is really and truly like I come across many times in my uh, life. It's made you stronger because it's a adrenaline rush, but it's made you stronger, made you faster, made you think quicker, you know, when you're in this kind of, 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 of uh, fear, you know, you, you worry, but, but inside you, you're scared, but you don't. You see things, you're more alert, your brain wave it start to, uh, 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 news work over time, your body's alert, everything is ready, it's called fight or flight, you know, when you get into that. So, all this thing here is fear really there to make you stronger. Everybody's fear. I'm fear. I'm scared. I'm when I go with certain thing, I'm not sure, unknown. Go to different country, do the certain thing, I'm scared. Another thing is I learn about this is when I do business the same. When I go into business, uh, uh, back into the business side. Like some of you into the business or some of you doing certain things that you know. More you think about it like, oh man, if I'm going to do this business, I might not uh, uh, work out very well. I'm going to fail. What happened if I'm fail? People laugh at me and uh, I'm not really sure. I might uh, don't have the place to live anymore. All sort of stuff and make you scared, make you fear 
fear you, make you wooey, you know? And this is the problem. The problem is learn to don't think too much. When you're thinking too much, that creates a lot of problem for you. Okay, so try not to think too much when you go and do things. Get and get it done. And that's all there is. If you start getting done and get things uh, moving, you'll start to worry and scare. Another thing, if you're in a fight, competition fighting or into the fight or whatever, because it's unknown, you don't know what's going on. So the most important thing to be aware and concentrate on your breathing. Deep breathing. More the deep breathing you are, your heart is not pumping very fast, so you're not going to start to worry too much not getting too fear, not getting too uh, scared, and a lot to do with your training. The more your training in the scenario you're in, the more better for you, okay? So that's what is it. So any of you not want to ask me any more questions about it or anything like that, comment below here. So that way become a lot more easier for you to learn and understand, okay? Another thing also is if you're not, uh, 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 some of you watching the first episode and write, and tell me a lot about different things in your life story. It's very interesting. All this is a lot to do with how to fight bully. Bully come in all shape and size, okay? When you understand about fear, you understand about uh, the thing you do out of your comfort zone. You know, you, if you're too comfort uh, in certain things, you're not gonna able to learn. You gotta get out of your comfort zone before you learn. So all this thing here is helping you to able to overcome certain thing you want to do in your life. And all that, it helps you to make you stronger, make you more alert, make you more aware, so you can able to become strong, okay? When you become strong, no one can bully you, you know? No one can bully you. And that's what is it, you build that up. Bully is not just about fighting, hitting, okay? You do that as a body body you do that. The mind you need to learn to control that. So that way it's a lot more uh, better uh, for you when you get into that because you don't uh, worry too much. You have more confidence so you can tackle many different things. Okay, In business, in life, in martial art, in all sort of things day to day stuff. So this is very very important. And another thing as well is, is comment below here and tell me a little bit about first time you get in the fight or first time you ever do something in your life and you feel like wooey, scared, fear, fear of what's happening, fear the unknown, what is it? Comment below here and tell me a little bit about it because I love to hear from you. Another thing as well, you talk about it. When you start to talk about it, you start to uh, relive it, okay? When you relive the, 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 the time you're there, you start to train yourself to don't do them again. Okay, that's what it is. That's why you need to talk about it. That's why you need to revisit what you've been done before. That will help you. Okay, and that's what it is. And some of you ask me all the time, Master Wong, every day you're training, you get up to talk, you're 50 years old now, you got so much energy and stuff like What do you eat? any drink any coffee uh, um, take any supplement and stuff like that I do a lot of bit a few bit and pieces but into that I really using a lot of this called silly chip okay silly chip uh, that's very good free time of day uh, in the morning uh, evening and night especially at night time it gives you a very very good sleep okay that helping you your body very good sleep all the information is here Okay, or go in the description, go there and then using the Master Wong code to get some discount. And also, some of you haven't read my book yet over that side or on this side. If I read my book yet, check them out. You can get it on Amazon, okay, or you can get them on our website for the ebook. You can start to uh, keep it read and then you learn a little bit more about it and then you can start to helping yourself. And another thing as well is. When you start to uh, get into it and understand them and become a lot more easier for you to uh, move forward because you are learning, training yourself to be able to do many, many different things, many different tasks. So next week, I want to talk to you a lot more in different things as we go forward. And I will talk to you more into the, uh, the, the uh, self-defense fighting side. As you know, if some of you are watching this and you want to learn self-defense and stuff like that on that, I already got a Tuesday and Thursday, basic and simple, 
okay so you can learn the wing chun and the tai chi so you can learn to understand them uh, i put a link underneath there or you will see up there uh, on it that wing chun and tai chi uh, on it so you can start to training with that okay if you want to send me the personal message and some of that then go to my website masterwong.tv and i will be here to uh, comment there answer you back and everything else that uh, i can able to help you on and now the thing as well if you haven't subscribed to me yet make sure to subscribe to me before your enemy do otherwise your enemy overcome fear and then they're gonna come out and they're more strong than you more confident than you it's gonna be a nightmare i will see you next week see you later